Oh, this looks so wonky. What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video on this one today. Super unique. We have a cabaret cabinet. Gino! Galaga! <laughs> So tis the season, I got a couple of holiday orders going out, a couple of videos coming up, but I got a unique request from my cousin, Joe Bay Kicks, New York. He called me, he goes, Vic, Dad, Gino, he wants an arcade cabinet, what could we do? Got on a little bit of a Snapchat video call. <laughs> I don't have FaceTime, so Joe hit me up on Snapchat video call, spoke to Gino. Gino goes, Vic, I grew up with Galaga. Galaga was my game, I just wanna play Galaga. So. Uh, he's seen the videos obviously cousins um, family so um, big thing is that when somebody says Galaga they're talking about a vertical thing and also he wasn't really into like the 15,000 games he just wanted something super simple super easy so I automatically knew that we couldn't do an actual upright because it's just gonna be too many games there's always pluses and minuses to all those systems um, you know depending on who wants to play it depending on what game once Gino said Galaga I automatically knew that a regular upright was not gonna work because Galaga is a vertical game. You do need a vertical monitor. So off the bat, I, I already knew that a horizontal, regular bar top or upright wasn't gonna work. Went on Craigslist, did a little bit of research for him because Galaga Pac-Man cabinets are expensive, but we found one. I found one for him, super unique. The price on it was amazing. Got it here, it was from, I don't even know where in New York, but maybe about an hour drive away. Bought it here, unwrapped it, and I'm pretty happy with this super unique cabinet. It's crazy, honestly, it's crazy. So again, looked on Craigslist, I found basically, if you look up uh, Pac-Man or Galaga machines, cabinets, they are crazy expensive. You're like at the two grand or up. In New York, there's a lot of 1500 ones with broken, you know, screens don't work or games don't work, but. Galaga Pac-Man machines are known, like cabinets are known to be expensive, collector's items and all that. Found this one which was unique. In the pictures it looked like a regular size cabinet, it looked like a full size cabinet. But once I like was messaging the, the person for more pictures, I realized that it wasn't. The biggest thing was the marquee. So big thing about this cabinet, very unique. It is a, it's called a cabaret cabinet. It's small, not small in a bad way. I'm six feet, I'm what, 5'11"? Um, cabinet measured at, I believe, at 61 inches. I have a full-size Galaga at the gym. The full-size Galaga clocks in at 69 inches tall, so it's eight inches shorter than your standard Pac-Man cabinet. Um, again, Cabaret, apparently this right here was actually specifically made for home use. Um, I don't remember the exact company name and all that, uh, if you watch TNT Amusements, he has a whole thing. If you literally look up Pac-Man, um, if you literally look up Pac-Man Galaga Cabaret Cabinet, you're gonna see Todd Tucky talk about this unique machine, which apparently, I think Namco made it, I don't know who made it, but it's actually made for home use. I think it's a 20th anniversary thing. Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. But the biggest amazing thing when I went to go see this thing was the condition that this thing was in. This is in beautiful condition. I'm gonna take you through the back. I'm gonna get out of self mode because you guys don't like self mode. Let's take a closer look at this unique cabaret cabinet. Take a quick walk around as I talk. Big thing again, I did notice the first thing on the ad was the coin door. I was like, there's something fishy about that coin door. Something just doesn't look right. And it is a sticker. It is not a real coin door, it is a sticker. From afar, it looks pretty real. Once you do get up to it, you do notice that it is a sticker. But again, this was not meant to actually accept money on it. Biggest selling point, I told my cousin, I said, we have to jump on this machine because the artwork is just pristine. This thing must have been kept in a house or in a basement that was never played. Um, again, take a look at Pac-Man side. Artwork on it is just beautiful. Like it is gorgeous. No nicks. You might have a couple, you know, one or two small ones. Nothing crazy, but you know, compared to like my full size Pac Man Galaga, it's beat to hell. But really unique thing again, when I was looking at the pictures, I noticed the marquee. The marquee is very in, it's inside. Um, not sure why exactly, but I could actually kind of see it now. Depending on your height, you can now actually see the screen. So I do see now why the marquee is like that, but 
But again, we do have a cabaret cabinet. Again, super unique. The biggest thing when I did come in, yes, yeah, it's, it's named by Namco. So you can check all that out. I don't care about my serial numbers. 2002. So it's an 18 year old machine without the coin door, but it's just clean. Like, literally, I'm just shocked at how clean this is. There's no dust in it whatsoever. It is using a 19 inch CRT cab uh, monitor. So there's an actual CRT in it. And basically, instead of having the two game board, this is running a 60 in one. So 60 games in one. And the really great thing about the 60 in one is that it is strictly vertical games. I'm convinced. I, I mean, this is beautiful. The CRT is an immaculate, like, there's no screen tearing. There's no color distortion. The CRT is in perfect condition. Um, joystick is amazing. Now that I actually, I mean, I've experienced Pac-Man machines, but this joystick now, um, again, in a bar top, you're going to see soon, I ordered this exact Pac-Man joystick because the customer is requesting four-way games. You do need this right here. It is amazing. So as you can see real quick, we do have a 60 in one in it. Um, it's in a track mode right now, so you can't move it. Once you press player one start, it'll bring up the menu. And you could basically cycle through. You could go left and right. Joystick is responsive in game. I did notice that when I did bring it here, the down, the down wasn't working and I actually swapped out the micro switch. So I always have a bunch of joysticks on hand. Um, the four ways use these very special micro switches that have the long stems on it to hit. So I actually took one of these and swapped it out. The down, the down on this when I bought it home, just it, it would miss. So the actual micro switch was actually broken. In the menu, it is pretty fairly good as far as responsiveness. In game, definitely 100%. The joystick is perfect. So it does have 60 games in it. Um, I was playing some Galaga. So in this right here, you either choose whether you want to do one player or two player. So if you want to do two player, you have to press two player here. Um, basically, this side here is actually you know fire buttons. So button one, two, and three. Um, I think there's only one game on this that uses two buttons. Everything else is one button. So basically, player two start is just novelty. It's just there. So if I wanted to play some Galaga, button one, automatic does it. Sound, you got one speaker on it. Very nice. Again, you can see the CRT on this. And again, you can see how the controller is. I just can't Galaga with one hand. It is really great. I mean, again, a 60 in one. Um, I'm looking for the actual cabinet now again to remake this because I personally, I love this. This is like a perfect height. Unfortunately, Game Room Solutions doesn't make this uh, type of cabinet. Nobody really does unless you wanted an actual upright. Um, but I really like this cabinet. Like I would literally, if my cousin wasn't gonna take this, this would actually go in my basement. It is just a unique cabinet pretty long pretty deep if you really look at it it is deep uh not too heavy but you do need like two people to actually move it um again basically once you die it does bring you back into the main screen and then after about five seconds it's gonna go to a track mode and it'll bounce from each game so this is the actual a track mode of galaga you know once the attract mode video is done it'll switch out um, again, amazing stuff. The other big thing when I did bring it home, uh, I didn't like it. The original person that gave me it, so the original person that gave me it had this button on it. This is a, um, I mean, there's no real way to say it. I guess you could say hap style. It is not concave. So he originally had this on it and I was like, no. Like when you're talking like Galaga, you need the concave button on it. Artwork again, immaculate. I mean, I'm uh, if my cousin wasn't going to take this, I would definitely keep this beautiful machine standing again at 61 inches high. I'm going to put the camera down and I'll stand next to it. I was afraid that it was going to be low, but this is not arcade one up low, even on a um, riser. This is just amazing. Again, this is a Miss Pac-Man versus Galaga. 
I can't pronounce the word. <laughs> I keep getting tongue tied with the word. Uh, cabaret. This is a cabaret kit. Again, meant for home use. And it's got 60 games. The biggest thing about this is that it's all vertical games. That was the big thing I was stressing to my cousin. You know, uh, my little cousin Joe was like, oh man, it's not going to have Street Fighter. Yeah, it doesn't have Street Fighter, but in all honesty, you don't want to play Street Fighter on a vertical and you don't want to play vertical games on a horizontal screen. So from what I'm seeing here, me personally, I'm looking to actually get another one like this just for me because I'm just blown away by this. Vertical games have to be on its own cabinet. I'm, I'm making the call on that. You have to have it on your own cabinet. Uh, but again, it's got a bunch of games. I mean, you got 1943 on it. You got a lot of like, you know, Pac-Mans, Junior Pac-Mans. Donkey Kong was a big thing. So we could load that up. Again, automatically enters a coin. Doo -doo -doo. I mean, again, the biggest thing, CRT. I grew up with this kind of stuff, but yes, a CRT compared to an LED screen is just immaculate. It is amazing. So again, we're gonna jump. Sound is beautiful on it. Oh, I thought I could jump with the hammer. And again, the joystick is just amazing on it. I'm just gonna real quick load up Pac-Man. Uh, what's pretty cool about this 60 and one, it's an actual game board. Uh, so it's a Jamba board and you actually have dip switches that you could change difficulties on it. So right now this is set to stock. Uh, I wiped the high scores, so I was playing a little bit, um, but it's set to stock as far as difficulty and stuff. Um, definitely cool knowing that you could go in and change difficulty. So when I do load up like Pac-Man, uh, you're gonna see it's basically set to easy medium. Um, it's actually set to easy. That's how it was stock. So this is a track mode. You can't move. You have to press player one start. I guess it's kind of like a coin and this is set to free play. So again, if I do Miss Pac-Man, we're gonna go player one. Make sure you press it correctly. Again, four way joystick. So that's the big thing. When you want four way, you need this joystick. This is a Zuzu Hap. Miss Pac-Man joystick. It's just it's just a must. It's definitely uh I normally I used to really put um zippies. I had a bunch of zippy joysticks. Uh I do have a spare Miss Pac-Man. I actually pulled from an actual Miss Pac-Man cabinet. The one that I modded for eight hundred and one. Uh and these are just immaculate. These are these are perfect for a four-way game. Those are the best way. Um, but again, real quick, we have a cabaret cabinet going out to the cousins, the De Beeks. So put the camera down just to show you like the height on this. I mean, compared to me, again, I was afraid when I was like measuring it, I was like, oh man, I think it's gonna be small. I think it's gonna be low, um, but it's actually a very comfortable, playable height. So if I was gonna be here just to kind of show it off, 